Finally! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, who, who took it? Let's see. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to... Okay, so who got it? Uh, there we go. Sword of Kings. Very nice. Um, welcome back. I was grinding for the Sword of Kings, and I finally found it. And it took me, I don't know, 40, 50 minutes to do so. It wasn't too bad. Um, I want to show you how our status has changed. Ness is 62. Paul is 60. Jeff 57 and Pooh 57. So looking pretty good. I want to show our PSI as well because uh, we learned some new things. A lot of new healing um, abilities. And Paula as well also learned some new... Uh, pa Paula also learned some uh, new offensive PSI. So we... Oh. Once again, we don't want to fight these guys. Anyways... Now we're now now that that part of the game's done, I'm I'm happy to say we're going to be a okay for the rest of it. PSI caramel, very nice, and well, <laughs> that didn't work out. I don't know what my plan was. I actually didn't know for quite a while that uh that little bridge up there is what you should grind for the sort of kings on, uh, because more Starman supers will spawn on it well down here there's less and i used to think that this is where you should do it i've heard from some people that the next room after this is the best place to as well and um, i understand that so i'm just gonna have to see frankly um the other one just seems so big that it seems like it would be more difficult in my opinion also here's our stats right now um just our stats currently i know i just showed them to you at the beginning of the episode Hello, please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yeah. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. And we have an exit mouse now. Great. Cool. I don't know how they got here, and I'm, I'm, I hope they're okay, though. <laughs> Anyways, I love this room. I think it looks so cool. Uh, there's some items for you to get if you um, choose to. I'm going to go for them and we are going to oh okay this is the military octobot i believe this is weak to freeze we all we know freeze um omega now which is very good um since Pooh has so much i don't feel nervous about using some of his now and um good we got some solidification on him which is good i don't believe these enemies will blow up yes very good they're totally scrapped <laughs> so that's just what I was, I was nervous of that potentially not happening. What's in here? Broken trumpet. So, Jeff, you can deal with that. Uh, we're gonna have to stay at a hotel after this. There's quite a few items we have. We also have the broken harmonica that uh, Jeff needs to fix at some point. Man, there's a lot of enemies over here. So, let's just, oh wow, two Starman supers. I haven't really seen that. Hi, let's just get this green swirl on you and take you out right away. Yeah, screw you. Haha. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to get a level up on that. Pixie's bracelet. Okay. Um, I guess we'll drop our platinum band. And I know so many people are probably like, why would you just do that? And uh, good, good point. And Ness has another diamond band anyway. Oh my goodness. I need to sell things. I need to make a point to stop at a store after this and just sell stuff. There's also one more uh, thing up here. I don't know what it is. We will see. Man, there's just so much stuff I just got to put away. Uh, I'm going to drop the snake. I don't want that. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Speed capsule. Good. Let's uh, use that on Paula, actually, since Paula's speed's pretty low. She's often going last in battles. Yeah, let's just sneak around here. I don't want to deal with that. All right, and that's kind of the end of the dungeon, actually. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, Tony, what do you... Oh no, can't see anything. Jeff, where is Jeff? KO, I can breathe. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh no. Oh, well, at least Mr. Saturn's okay. And Donuts is up there. Oh, can't breathe. I can't last much longer. I can't last much lo Oh. Huh. They say the same thing, I guess. 
So just past here, though, we have a Starman-type enemy here. Uh, let me check what Jeff has. Jeff has a multi-bottle rocket. That's good. Um, I'm not going to equip the KC bat still. We are going to... Get, get, get out of here. You're much stronger than our intelligence indicated. We were not be prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the click apple of enlightenment may be true, but you must not worry. underestimate us. Mini boss time. This is the Starman Deluxe. I love this design. I think it's so cool. Um, we're going to open up with some pretty tough PSI moves, but what we want first is for Jeff to use the shield killer on him and uh you know let's just try our new sword of kings it may not be oh god oh god i wasn't counting on paula going first no <laughs> okay well at least at least we're okay and wow okay what a great first move for who to use um after getting his sword of kings i know that's not necessarily representative of it but oh man i was not i thought jeff was faster than that i was not prepared for that um let's use uh, let's just heal up him. Let's use, uh, let's try fire. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to not use our multi-bottle rockets, just because it seems a bit cheap. Uh, let's use, let's, let's use a star storm. Why not? That's it. Okay, so fire works pretty well. That's good. Oh, wow, star storm is quite powerful. Uh, but you want to use that shield killer so that you can just immediately start actually wailing on him. And we'll use uh, more- oh, we don't have enough for it. Man, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll just keep using these attacks and I think we'll be okay. Does Jeff have anything else besides these? Uh, man, nope. I'm gonna have to buy some more items for Jeff as well. We're kind of- <laughs> we're kind of in a weird position right now. So, oh, I thought that was gonna be enough to take him out. Not quite. Maybe after this turn, though. Oh, well, just, yeah, li af literally after the turn, I thought I thought Pooh was going to take him out. 4,000 experience. Very nice. Just level 58. Um, anything for Pooh? Level 58 as well. Very good. Awesome. And Pooh's all caught up to Jeff, so it seems like he might even pass him up at some point. And, oh, my goodness, taking out this Starman Deluxe really shook things up around here. When you defeated the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base ceased functioning. I was curious if there was anything there to, to read. I was scared, but I knew I'd be safe if I, courageously, if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. Kidnapped! Happy! Rescued! I give you a ribbon! And Paul gets the Saturn ribbon, okay. Um, let's see... How does that compare to the Talisman Ribbon? Wow, that is a big difference. We have to definitely sell some items after this. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Mr. Uh, Dr. Andronuts. See ya. What? You're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the one at library. Please use the book to help the shy tend to tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow, I was kidnapped by some guy- some guy gasses toadies. Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start the phase distorter as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. You got important things to do. Jeff, Jeff, buddy. Oh, me, oh my. You came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness? I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friend. I've known him for the longest time. He actually has alternate attacks if Jeff is dead when you talk to him. I was kidnapped while milking a cow on my farm. I didn't think that they'd get a ransom by kidnapping little old me. <laughs> I forget that he has like a, a country bumpkin accent. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all that you've done. Tony actually always has alternate text if you talk to him somehow uh, without Jeff in your party. Or meaning Jeff is dead. Uh, let's use the exit mouse. Very good. Anyways, uh, goodness, but yeah, I forget that one character is always a country bumpkin because it just doesn't seem, you're just not expecting it because so little is done with dialect in this game that it's just kind of shocking, not shocking, I guess, but it's just kind of, uh, 
it, it's kind of, it'll catch you off guard for sure. So now that we are healed up, here's what everyone looks like at their maximum capacity. Very nice. Very, very uh, satisfying. Now we uh, gotta head to Wanette because now we have to make sure that we get uh, the Overcoming Shyness book to help the Tender Tribe so that we can head uh, and check out what's under that rock there. So, heading back to Wanette. Wow, it's been a while since it, th this car always spawns here when you're uh, when you go to Wanette. I don't know why. Before we do anything else, though, I want to go to the oh well, you know what? The drugstore is actually this one. I was gonna go to the bakery, but it's probably just better to go to the drugstore. Um, I want to go to the drugstore and sell all of our uh, sell a bunch of the stuff we don't need. So I'm going to do that first. I what does his shirt say? It says I heart something. Okay. So going up here to the drugstore. Hello. Let's sell some stuff. First off, Ness, we do not need the coin of defense. He'll buy it for a thousand bucks. Okay. Uh let's see what else. Is there anything else I can sell if Ness is? Don't need the diamond band. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay. No, I don't need <laughs> I don't need to buy anything from you. Uh let's see. Do, do, do. I'm gonna need to throw some stuff in storage. Uh, Paula, man, we've had this hand aid for so long. Usually, I've used it by now. I should, I should do that soon. Um, I'll sell the sudden guts pill because I don't particularly use the sudden guts pill off often. Um, he won't buy the broken spray can. Uh, great charm. I didn't realize she has a. I didn't realize she had a bottle rocket. I need to give that to Jeff. Um, we'll keep the monkey's love, I guess. Um, we'll sell this sudden guts pill. Wow, I can't believe we already have $7,000 from this stuff that's just been in, sitting in here. I'll sell the talisman ribbon. And I'm sure there's some stuff we can sell from Jeff's. See, th there's another annoying thing about Earthbound is how it won't, we'll sell the, oh, you can't sell it. Okay, whatever. Uh, is that you can't sell multiple things at a time and you have to constantly go through the menus in order to do it. I just think it's a, it annoys me personally. It's a, it's a personal thing for sure. And uh, let's see, Jeff, is there anything else you can sell? I think I'm gonna sell the Casey bat, actually. 19 bucks, really? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I know a lot of people are, were probably just like, just really cringed at that move there, but gen genuinely, I don't find it helpful like at all. And as for Pooh, it seems he's okay right now. We don't need to sell any of his stuff. I do, however, want to give the broken trumpet to Jeff. And I also want Paula to give this bottle rocket to Jeff. There we go. All right, cool. Now that we've mended our inventories a bit uh i do want to oh man you know what there's actually one more thing i want to do in the drugstore i want to call escargo express i know it won't let us uh we it's not going to let us put away everything because they only take three items at a time but it's better than nothing and maybe after we head to the library uh we can after we head to the library, we can stop there one more time and check. What a cute yellow backpack. Almost didn't make it in. Oh, here's Escargo Express. Yep, and we're going to store the, let's see, the key to the tower. Don't need that. Paula will sell the, we'll give him the higher girl copy. I forgot to sell her coin of defense. Uh, Jeff, we need your stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's all we need. Um, I'll just throw the coin defense in there since there's not really any, since, since there's no limit to how much stuff you can have in Escargo Express, as far as I know, uh, there's, there's no reason not to just give it to them. Not really here for money or anything. Hi. It's not necessary to return the map now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. Awkward. A little bit late. So this guy doesn't change at all. But I want to talk to this guy because he has kind of an overarching plot line. We talked to him before and he was a man of few words, but now... Oh, hi Ness. It's another nice day. What? 
You'd like the book Overcoming Shyness? I've read it. It's a great book. So you want to overcome shyness also? You should be able to find it on the bookcase. So there's a bunch of bookcases in here, but yeah, he's all confident now. And uh, there's quite a few bookcases. There are books other than Overcoming Shyness. You gotta go here to get it. And we get the Shyness book. Very good. So let's head back to Tenda Village now and uh, give this book to the... Uh, townspeople and see if we can help them man it feels so good to be so powerful uh tenda village okay sweet oh wow this is a tight space but let me just keep swirling around i like i like testing myself seeing how close i can get to a wall i don't know if i've ever failed uh teleport beta i've i've failed teleport alpha several times though so let's head over here and Give it to the mayor seems like the right person to give it to Book can fix shyness. Thanks relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already I'll take time to read it to everyone and So the leader of the Tenda tribe read overcoming shyness to everyone Chat chat whisper whisper. I like to give you some tender crowd in reverse in return Tender crowd is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. And you can have the Overcoming Shyness book. Thanks for the tender crowd. Interesting. Oh, I was so confused. I was like, why can I not move? Did I did the game just soft lock for some reason? I didn't realize that there's a camera location here. I for I totally forgot. Thank you, cameraman. I'll want to remember this forever. Okay. Hey you, I have a happy little question for you. The mask on Blu-ray. The mask on Blu-ray. Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right, you can change it. Yes. Yes, this is right. The mask on Blu-ray. Are you sure it's what you want? Are you happy with the name? Yes, I want it. I've been trying to buy it for so long. I've just been waiting for a good deal. It's always it's routinely like 15 bucks, which is more than I'm willing to spend on a Blu-ray right now. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life, I will give you something. Look at the list. Oh, whoops. So this is, wait, let me look at this. Oh, shoot. No, I wanna see what he gives because his shop operates solely on giving him, uh, okay. There's some good stuff. Hall of Fame bat. Um, you know, I actually kind of want the Hall of Fame bat. I don't know how particularly good it is i can't oh oops. um i don't know how particularly good it is because i haven't used it before but um you know i he, we're, we're all about on this playthrough trying to you know have some new experiences try some things we haven't before so i'm willing to go to saturn valley really quick because for one thing i'm always looking for a excuse to go to saturn valley buy horn of life and we'll come back here and get a hall of fame bat it's been a while since we've gotten ness a new bat um i don't even remember the last time we got him a bat i think it was in scaraba when we first got there so let's uh let's let's get um our main boy something nice look at all the saturn always happy to be here and i also love the song here it's just so delightfully weird okay so i believe you sell the horn of life you do not sell the horn of life you sell the horn of life. Get out of my you sell the horn of life. Very nice. And who will carry this burden? And uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy one more horn of life. Why not? Thank you. And as for you, I'll sell you Ness's bat because we're gonna have to get rid of it anyway. The big league bat. The most does pay that is to 620, 620 bucks. Wow, very nice. Uh, it just seems like oftentimes you can't get great returns on uh, the items you sell, and this seems to be an exception. Um, or at least later game items, but that might just be because you paid so much for them in the first place that they're less comfortable not giving you something. Oh my gosh, wow. That, w that was a really tight squeeze. I was... To be honest, not thinking it was going to work. I thought that was going to be my time failing teleporting beta. So that was uh, that was kind of satisfying, I won't lie. Okay, so. 
uh, heading over here. Um, I've actually never given... No, damn it. No, stop. Uh, oh, I thought that was the selection list. Yeah, okay, we'll give you a Horn of Life. No! I wanted to get... Man, <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's a good thing I bought two of these. When it's in, you recover about 80 HP. Well, that's not bad. So, just gotta be careful going through this. So wait, you have to buy each thing from him? Oh man, I'm not doing that. That's a inter interesting concept though. <laughs> Powerful, I show everyone. Whoop, I got it, I got it, yep. And now we can head down here. What do you have to say? Good evening. I am a talking rock, but the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth, the ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It's important. Okay. Uh, now, I know that we have this available to us, but I think what I want to do before we head down there to the lost underworld is revisit some of the places that we have uh, more access to now that we have our full party together and now that we have so many great, um, great amazing abilities. So let's first uh, teleport to Foreside because back in summers we did get word from uh, someone at the museum that they have an incredible discovery. So it might be worth checking out. Now I believe this is the museum right here. Ooh, ah, that was satisfying. I'm so smart. Dinosaur museum. Oh, I'm so happy. I love dinosaurs. I haven't, I haven't had a good dinosaur in a while. The dinosaur museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. There are up because I'm sure everyone knows that. Okay, so 20 bucks to enter. That's not bad. I always, I'm always like, why do I have to pay for each person? Why isn't it just a flat rate? But yeah, I mean, money's not an object at this point. Hello. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new ooh, singer named Venus at the Tapola Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her, on, her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. So I just realized something. I totally sold Ness's... <laughs> I sold Ness's Hall of Fame bat. Which is interesting. So there's something I'm going to want to do in a minute. And, uh, you know, we're just getting all the new experiences this time because I'm an idiot. But, uh, you know, it's just offering some fun new play styles. I think we're actually going to go to Winters in a little bit and buy the T-Rex bat. Just because why not at this point since we, we got to get it anyway. Uh, since we need Ness to have some sort of weapon. So let's go see if we can talk to Venus. She works here, so perhaps we can swing something with her uh, since we're friends with the Runaway Five. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all a stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me, sing to me, baby. Venus, just sing and I can die happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight, Venus, baby. Boo, <laughs> Venus, sob, sob. Interesting. So yeah, now we get a little, we get to watch a little Venus show, which is fun. Um, I really like Venus's sprite. I have to be honest. I think it's very nice. It it's just it works very well in its simplicity. It's one of the less complicated sprites in the entire game. It's it's much smaller for one thing. Uh, I enjoy it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I can't believe I can't believe I did that. That's so funny. See, I thought that you would just get like. Once you gave him a horn of life, you'd have an option to scroll through the, the menu, but no, he just gives you the thing. I think that's funny. Uh, and I mean, the Hall of Fame bat's probably pretty good, um, but I am just gonna go buy the T-Rex bat because frankly, I am not going to buy that many horns of life to get the Hall of Fame bat, unless I were to do it like off screen or something. And I'm gonna want a weapon for some point in this episode. So I'm, I definitely don't think I'm going to. Also, by the way, um, I didn't mention this. This is my last day in my dorm. Um, I've been keeping you guys updated with that. So I figured why not bring it up now? Yeah, um, I'm moving out later today. It's 10 a.m. right now when I'm recording this. 
Um, I'm moving out at around 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. So, and oh man, there's that guy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is my last day here. I'm all packed up and stuff. I'm very excited to be heading out this evening. Uh, I'm going running in a little bit. Uh, in like an hour, I'm going to try to go for a nice run before I do that. Just trying to enjoy my last day here. Anyways, uh, I hope you all are doing well. I know you guys are getting this episode sometime in May. I think like May 3rd or something. You're getting this almost a week after it's being recorded because it's the 27th when I'm recording this uh, of April. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I'm so... I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of happy that this happened. It's just a funny situation. Uh... <laughs> Ness is just so naked, frankly. He he has nothing. And Ness has some cool, you know, Ness has some strong bare fists. I won't I won't deny that. But um I do find it funny that I did that just under that presumption. Oh well. Ah, you're a friend of the runaway five. Did you come see Miss Venus? Please come in uh come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. And that's got the signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack. I used to, I, I was always confused when I was little if this was her giving Ness like a kiss or if this was her hitting him, like, sma you know, smacking him. Uh, apparently the, the actual answer to this question is it's her giving him a kiss, which I like better because I don't like little kids getting hurt. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like that. I'm such a good guy, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so before we get this to that guy, let's go to Winters really quick, just so that we can uh, get this over with. And you know, it's it's not exactly a big deal. It's only gonna take a, like a minute. Hi, Mankana. Wait, that's not Mankana. This is just the same sprite. I've also seen, there's a T-Rex bat challenge that some people do, where when they're, oh, damn it, I, 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 I can't believe this, I, my inventory's full, uh, we'll just get rid of the plane roll, who cares, man, that was a really bad return on that, though, because I spent $1,700 on that, essentially, let's equip it, okay, good, that's, that's good, 161, that's, that's definitely worth it, uh, but there's a T-Rex bat challenge that some people do where when they first take control of Jeff alone in winters, they just grind for a really long time and buy the T-Rex bat before uh, even leaving. And uh, I, I think that's such a fun idea. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but maybe I'll do it at some point in the future just because I, I like the idea of it. I think it's funny. Okay, now that we have a weapon for Ness, which you want, going um, into this next little area we're about to go in. Uh, we're going to go in here. There we go. Okay, sweet. And now, um, actually, regardless if you leave Foresight or not, you do have to pay the entrance fee again to go in, so this this part of the game is just going to cost you $40, straight up. <laughs> anyway, look at these dinosaur bones. Hell yeah. And, oh, yeah, I forgot there's a Photo Man location in here. Dang, I totally forgot about this. Just like absolutely forgot. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph of genius. If I do say so myself, I'll get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera ready. Say fuzzy pickles. Man, oh, <laughs> I guess that guy will just be in the picture with us. <laughs> Welcome to the party, dude. Does he have like an I Heart New York shirt on? Is that what it's supposed to be? This museum should sell dinosaur t shirt. <laughs> Maybe it says I Heart Dinosaur t shirts. So this guy wanted this, so let's give it to him. But man, I gotta say, there's quite... I, I was talking last episode about the challenge Earthbound is given by giving you so little space to have items. And I stand by that it is very little space. But, uh, you know, for one thing, obviously having a ton of space at all times would be a bit ludicrous um, with how powerful you are and you have the scrolling, uh, the scrolling HP meter. But, you know, you always have to have, like, four spots in your inventory dedicated to just armor at a time. And, ooh, a secret herb. That's nice. Uh, so, like, it is it is very constraining. And then you have to have, there, you know, you have to have, like, four or five slots allotted just to, like, key items that you have to have on you all the time. 
and you know you can't, you'd always need the receiver phone uh the pencil eraser as we've seen evidently you need quite often oh man this is so slow you need quite often uh the eraser eraser i'm sure will have some more uses i don't i don't recall any at the moment but you know something tells me we're probably going to be using it again and uh, you, so you need the receiver phone because that triggers a lot of story events. You need the soundstone. Uh, you need your ATM card for sure. There, there's so much that you just need on you pretty much all the time that it really constrains you to really only like four or five maybe max item slots that you have to your own devices. And um, I know that there's some items here like the trash can and there's something in that room as well likely. But um, I am just going to come back for it later because... Frankly, I don't feel the need for them, and also, we probably don't even have the item space anyway. I don't remember what this enemy, the stinky ghost, is weak to, so I'm just going to assume it's freeze. <laughs> because I think the previous ghost in 3 was weak to freeze. So that's... yeah, I mean, yeah, that's relatively what it's weak to. Thank you, Jeff. Wasn't expecting Jeff to be the one to get the final blow on that character. But, you know, also those of you who played Mother 3, this location might look familiar to you because there is quite, uh, there's an area of the game that's quite uh, the homage to this part. Um, let's uh, use PSI Apes. I know it's kind of a waste, you know, considering what we're going to be going up against soon, but uh, I just want to give an idea of what it can do. We're going to conserve some of Pooh's uh, PP though. So it seems that, uh, is, oh man, come on, take him out, take him out, ah, oh, that sucks. So PSI Apes was kind of a waste. <laughs> well, I thought we were going to have more. So PSI Apes, um, Omega, uh, Gamma does quite a bit of damage as well, as you would expect. But, uh, yeah, in Mother 3, there's an area that is quite the homage to this part of the game. And man, there's another stinky ghost. I don't want to fight you, man. I don't, <laughs> I just want to run will it work even though oh my gosh it actually worked I, I got to admit that was a big surprise now when it comes to going about going through this mini dungeon you do just want to walk through this pretty much the entire time you're not really going to you're the only reason you will go up there is for other items so and I think I'll probably get those other items uh, just in my own time so don't 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 really count on it anyways this is the filthy attack roach once again we'll use freeze bait on it and i think everyone else can just kind of oh oh well <laughs> i was nervous for a second for some reason um i'll just have everyone else attack because if this doesn't take it out they will yeah ness is ness is a giant machine <laughs> t-rex bat's quite useful as you can see okay here we go I told you there was going to be a drought for a while of sanctuary locations, and now here we finally are at our next one. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Okay, this is the Plague Rat of Doom. I hate this guy's character design. I think it looks ridiculous, but we're going to go with it. This is weak to fire, I want to say, so I'm going to cast fire immediately, but I'm going to have Pooh use... Uh, I am going to have Pooh use his, uh, whatever, uh, PSI freeze just to see how it compares so I know what to do going forward. So that does 185, and what does freeze gamma do? 215. So it's kind of the same, honestly. It's not overly, it's not a huge difference. So for this um, enemy, you essentially just want to spam your PSI attacks at it because there's really not a better way of doing it. Um, you know what, we'll try Freeze Omega just to kind of show it off. Um, I'm not going to use my multi-bottle rocket, so for it looks for like for the rest of this uh, battle, Jeff's just going to do this. I'll buy him some items after this, and there's no reason to use Star Storm right now. We might get more attacks out of his other one. So you just want to spam your big uh, PSI attacks, particularly uh, fire and ice, uh, because that's really what it is. He's mostly a physical attacker, I believe, so there's not... Oh, damn. Okay. Is Ness poisoned? Okay, so Ness isn't even poisoned, so we're good. So that's kind of like one of the big fears of this boss, is that he's um, he, he can poison you, and uh, 
kind of cause other status ailments on you. Uh, but aside from that, he's really one of the easier Sanctuary bosses, in my opinion. And as long as you're kind of having this sort of damage output, you're not going to be... And in, if you can just keep it up for a few turns, you're not really going to be in any sort of danger. As you can see, we got through that really easily. And we get 2,800 experience, which is awesome. So, sweet. Anyway, let's... uh. Head up here now to our next sanctuary location. Hell yeah. That was an easy one. That was even easier than I was expecting. Oh, wow. There's a treasure chest over there. Let's just walk around that. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is a thing. You can... It's it's a glitch here. You shouldn't be able to do this, but you can walk around and get this, the carrot key, uh, which is a key item, and just walk around the sanctuary location and leave this can cause something weird later which I'll try to remember to bring up later uh, but yeah you so you don't have to get this one now you could come back and make this like your last one and it, it shouldn't be possible to be your last one so what happens is you have to basically go to a different location to trigger the next story event but I'm not gonna do that we're just gonna use uh, we're, we're just gonna do it right now but I just think it's funny and I think it's really cool it's it's weird because they're just anticipating you to walk straight so that you can go straight to the chest but they didn't program if you went on the edge of this Superman shaped, um, this Superman shaped thing. Oh, Nessa Baby's Ball just for an instant. His sound sound record the melody of Magnet Hill. They're just anticipating you to go straight from the ladder to, to try to get this and then you'll trigger this eventually. But it's very easy to get around as you can saw, as you saw, because all, all I did was hold down. Quite the, quite the feat, quite the feat, uh, Ape Inc. Ape Inc. And now, since we've defeated the Plague Rat, everything's gonna be afraid of us down here. Get out of here, get out of here. So yeah, there's even like rowdy mice upgraded enemies here, if you didn't know that. So yeah, you get to ha have a nice easy time now, and if you wanna get those items, you can go for it. I not, since we're not particularly hurting for like items right now, I'm not going, to, I, I, I know I said I was going to go back and get them on the way out, but honestly, I just don't feel overly obligated to because I don't feel as though I need them. And Jeff's extra space is about to go and be filled up by some uh, big bottle rockets that I want to stop by the department store to get. I'm going to speed up just because of how long it takes to walk through this. And especially since we're not fighting any enemies here now, uh, there's no reason to. No, yeah, no, no, we're not fighting any enemies. <laughs> uh, there's no reason to. So anyways. Get out of here, damn, okay. Oh, hey, we can actually destroy it like that. That's awesome, okay. And did anyone gain any levels from that boss fight? When you're grinding for the Sword of Kings, by the way, um, I wanna recommend to you not to get to level 99. If you get to level 99, uh, you might wanna, if, if you're gonna, if you're in danger of getting to level 99, so like if you're getting to like level 93 or something, you're going to wanna simply uh, just load your last save and try to start and get it again because you do not want to get to level 99 before a certain point in the game otherwise you are not going to uh, you're going to miss out on a big bonus which is a lot of fun oh yet another picture mail location I'm fuzzy pickles thank you I like to imagine that the Plague Rat of Doom is Splinter, and you can't tell me otherwise, frankly. Anyways, bakery. You know, what? It, first floor, four side bakery. Second floor, uh, second floor of bakery. Well, at least they're consistent. Uh, I've never been to the four side bakery actually. I've never had a reason to go there personally because all I do all my shopping in four side at the department store. We've had a lot of new experiences today, but I think we're going to hold off on that next one. Now, we got that carrot key at Magnet Hill. Now, if you remember, back when we first uh, met Pooh a few episodes ago in Dalam, there were some mysterious rabbit creatures there. And if we check, uh, where is it? If we check the carrot key, a special type of bunny's favorite carrot. 
So perhaps we can use it there. And uh, good thing we have a ton of uh, a ton of uh, money on us right now because now we can just uh, use this. And we'll even do this. And yeah, okay, good. Um, I'm gonna go and give Paula some of these broken machines, even though we have to have them in Jeff's inventory for him to fix them. As of now, we're not going to be staying somewhere soon, so I think it's a better idea just to give it to Paula, because now uh, Jeff has more room in order to fit big bottle rockets into his pocket. Is that a big bottle rocket, or are you just excited to see me? And I shouldn't say that because he's a child. I wasn't saying it in reference to him, I just want to clear that up. Okay, there we go. So now he has some big bottle rockets. So I know we're kind of going off on a tangent misadventure here and not just going straight down to the Lost Underworld uh, where we opened up Nintendo Village, but um, this is generally where I prefer to do this, these other sanctuary locations in the game since they're all so opened up to you. So I am going to take a short break from the main story in order to do other story events. This is the point where Earthbound really opens up and you can do a lot of stuff in the order you want. So next time on Earthbound, we are going to head to Dalam in search of the next sanctuary location, or at the very least, see what lies beyond those rabbits. See you guys then.